back with uh, another java uh, series and basically today i'm covering the features of java 25 uh, which I, which is going to release on this month only and uh, basically this video will be a short video and i'll be covering the six important features of java 25 as you might be aware or if you're not aware so java 25 is a long term support release which is lts also and uh, it will be uh, like supporting for multiple years so most of the companies will be uh, like migrating to java 25 features like they will be using the java 25 so it is important to you, for you to aware about the java 25 features and apart from this like uh, you must be aware six some of the features are i have already explained in in java 24 so that features all are only some of that are carry forward in java 25 so that i am covering and uh, before that like if you haven't like share and subscribe my channel please like share and subscribe my channel so let's get started so basically this is the uh, feature video of java 25 and uh, as i mentioned it will be going to release this month only um, around 15th or 16th of september only so the first feature uh, which comes as a part of java 25 is flexible constructor bodies uh, which is also jep 513 uh, version and this was there in java 24 also and i have explained you if you go through my java 24 video so i have explained you there also so uh, again like they have uh, con new this feature in java 25 and as it was a preview feature in 24 now it has been made i think permanent uh, not sure about it but i think it is a final version of uh, this uh, flexible constructor bodies introduced in java 25 so basically in nothing is there in flexible constructor bodies it explains you that uh, whether you are calling the super or this statement for calling the parent constructor or the current constructor inside the constructor body so what you can do like from java 25 onwards before that super or this you can perform your own validations which were not allowed before that uh, like uh, java 25 or java 24 you can also say so before java 25 uh, what you were doing you were uh, like calling the super constructor uh, for super keyword for calling the parent constructor uh, and if you are doing any validations like if age is less than 0 suppose this is a constructor person we have declared a string name and integer age and we are uh, throwing some exception based on some validation but this was not allowed before you like super or this should be the first line of the constructor uh, that was the initial rule uh, before uh, you can say java 24 but from java 25 or java 24 you can say that uh, before super or this you can have some your own custom validations that are allowed and that are uh, like so that's why it this feature is called as flexible constructor bodies okay so this is the important feature like uh, some of the validation we need to do before uh, you uh, of the super or this uh, before calling the parent constructor so there also you can uh, have these validations so this is the first feature flexible constructor bodies then second feature what what they have introduced in java 25 that basically uh, you can have compact source files and instance main method like this i have done the proper hands on in java 24 video if you haven't watched it just go and watch it i have done on the intellij side uh, just uh, but here i i'm just explaining you again that uh, uh, from java 25 or 24 only they have introduced as a preview feature but 25 they have made mark as final uh, uh, feature of it that uh, from java 25 you don't need to write any class name and uh, you don't need to write this public static void main string arg arguments directly you can just call this um, void main method and directly you can call the sop statement or from 25 version also they have introduced some new statements in uh, java.io libraries there and in said that there uh, they have introduced io.println so this is also valid from java 25 like most of you have, will be having the question that sop will be a valid or not from java 25 sop will, uh, system dot out dot println will also be you can use it from java 25 but io.println also you can use it this is the new uh, library they have introduced and uh, like they have some certain methods io. dot other methods so io.println similarly you can use for printing it uh, but sop will also be still valid here and if you can see here nothing like no class name is there uh, public static is not required only void main you can use it and string arg arguments also not required inside this bracket and it will run it but this will be this uh, program will run only from uh, uh, java 24 or from 25 version uh, like uh, you can uh, 24 also you it can run but you can pass the argument uh you need to pass the argument but 25 i think it can be run directly no arguments are required there 
and if you want uh, like from notepad if you want to run it so there you can pass their your own arguments also in that so that is the main advantage of this compact source file and instance main methods so main advantage comes like in, uh, for the new developers who are not learning java so though they do not need to write this class name and this uh, basically main advantage if you can say it reduces the boilerplate code and you can just uh, write your code from the void main method simply and now you have these uh, println different statements like io dot println is also a valid statement and system dot out dot println is the older version which we are using so that is also valid till now they haven't removed this thing then the third feature what they have introduced is uh, the same way it, it was there i guess in uh, 24 also we I have explained this so uh, like before uh, that in pattern matching or in switch statements or in instance uh, method we were not having the primitive data type or we were uh, doing the uh, type casting external type casting but from 25 version what you can do uh, we can you can directly uh, write the primitive data type also inside the patterns or the switch statements like case integer x so compiler will be aware that x is of integer type and uh, this b is of byte type so what it does it reduces the boxing and unboxing and makes switch more powerful so primitive types in patterns and switch have been introduced in java 25 then fourth feature what they have introduced it they have introduced some garbage collection and jvm improvements they have done in java 25 basically they have introduced a new garbage collector which is generational uh, shandoa so basically it is faster and it uh, lower pauses but means it, it this is the faster garbage collector uh, as of now uh, in all the garbage collector there are multiple types of garbage collector like serial garbage collector parallel garbage collector so this one is the faster garbage collector and uh, it uh, have the lower pauses then the second what they have introduced is that uh, it has compact object headers like a smaller memory print will be there in the jvm then jfr if you have uh, uh, saw my java other versions feature series video like java 17 or java 14 so there only they have introduced the jfr which is java flight recorder basically nothing it does like in spring boot as i mentioned earlier also we have the actuators for monitoring our application similarly in the java application suppose you have the application running in linux it is a java application and you want your application is very low uh, not performing well or you uh, you are not able to monitor proper your java application in the linux uh, suppose linux os so what uh, you can do in uh, this java flight recorder what it does that it records per, per or it analyzes that particular why this application is performing not well or uh, this uh, basically it does the better profiling and applications will run faster and use less memory so uh, via via this like you will be aware that uh, okay this is the issue and then you can uh, like uh, increase the memory or decrease the memory so it is very helpful uh, for increasing the application performance or for the monitoring purpose of this okay so these three are the changes they have introduced in this garbage collection jvm improvements then fifth feature was structured concurrency was introduced jep 505 it is a preview feature this might can be changed in later version but as of now they have marked it as preview means like earlier uh, before java 25 we were having the managing multiple threads uh, like it was a messy or exceptions or cancellation or cleanup but in 25 there is a structured task scope they have introduced uh, uh, this is the new thing and through that like you can easily uh, like manage the multiple threads uh, their main motive is that you can easily manage the multiple threads using future if you have used of java 8 so what it does that uh, this is scope dot join is there scope dot throw for field is there so this where uh, var we have declared as a scope and this is the new structure is a task scope we are calling it for shutdown on failure and it is managing both the threads f1 and f2 wait for both handle error so this is how it makes concurrency simpler and safer this is the fifth feature structured concurrency then sixth feature is the another repeat feature of java 24 only module import declaration this is the another important feature and this uh, you kind might be using in your uh, own projects also and it is a uh, best feature that instead of writing multiple statements suppose you are using some collections so you are writing java.util.asterisk one way is there then second way is there you are writing manually java.util.list is then java.util.arraylist is there but instead of that you can just write this module java import module java.base sorry 
I think I will be small ha huh? so import module Java dot base so it includes internally Java dot lang all libraries it includes Java dot util all libraries and Java dot io so this one line will uh, solve the problems for all the three Java dot lang Java dot util Java dot io and you nothing need to import externally just write try this feature this is a very good feature and important feature also that instead of writing the all the uh, uh, declaring all the like list uh, collections if you are using as I mentioned so in, instead of declaring one by one we can just use this module java.base and will, it will cover all the three libraries uh, all the similarly for java.sql is also there for including all the sql queries uh, or sql data stuff so they have reduced this module so there are some uh, uh, multiple modules just go through it and this is the most important module which i am telling you java.base and this you might can use also in your projects so it what it does it clean and imports especially when using many packages from the same module and uh, this is the another important feature so these are the top six features there are some minor features also there but as of now i have covered the top six features of java 25 so let me revisit one is flexible constructor bodies uh, in which you can have some validations before the super with this keyword then second is uh, compact source files and instance main method uh, inside that what it does that you can have you do not need to write any class name and directly you can call the main method which, re which reduces the boilerplate code then third feature they have introduced primitive types and patterns and switch like primitive data type you can introduce in uh, patterns or switch statement which reduces boxing and unboxing then garbage collection or JVM improvements we have done they have uh, introduced new garbage collector then JFR enhancement they have done Java flight recorder which records the application performance uh, and the Java application performance basically then compact object adder is there smaller memory friend then fifth feature they have introduced a new uh, structure task scope or structure concurrency for managing the multiple threads they have introduced this structure task scope and then sixth feature module import declaration this is the most uh, again i will say this is the easy and most important feature that you just need to write the module java.base and it will include all the libraries of java.lang suppose java.util java.io so these are the top six features of java25 as of now i have covered and let me know if you have any doubts any feedback any suggestions in the comments and uh, i have covered from java 7 to java25 for most of the features or most of the versions series is in this series please let me know uh, if you have any doubts in the comments and please like share and subscribe my channel yeah thanks bye